Hey everybody, it's Nathan here, and welcome to day number 55 of the Sauna Challenge. I uh, hope you're doing really well. Uh, remember, you can go to saunachallenge.blogspot.com for all the sonnets that we've done up to this point. Uh, for day number 55, we have sonnet number 129, which uh, has been a real departure from uh, a lot of the sonnets I've been working on, uh, getting back into the, uh, the Dark Lady uh, period of the sonnets. And this one is uh, pretty intense, pretty heavy. It's uh, the reaction of the human psyche to the promptings of sexual urges. Uh, and then some of what the poet talks about is, uh, you know, does, or, or some of the questions that have brought up the themes, does this sexual uh, melancholia stem directly from the passions aroused by the Dark Lady? And there is in here, uh, there's a lot of things you can argue with the sonnets, but what there is in here is extreme sexual pessimism. Now, that could be a temporary aberration on the part of the poet, uh, could be an essential part of his personality, or it's simply an expression of the prevailing opinion, opinion of the time. All those things are, uh, could possibly uh, be going on right now. So, uh, I'm back in uh, back on the mainland, back in uh, Hollywood right now, and thought this would be a great day uh, to do a sonnet, a great place to bring, bring a sonnet to you. It's very sunny out and a little windy up here. So, uh, without further ado, why don't we give sonnet number 129 a shot. The expense of spirit in a waste of shame is lust in action. Until action, lust is perjured, murderous, bloody full of blame, savage, extreme, rude, cruel, not to trust, enjoyed no sooner but despise it straight, past reason hunted, and no sooner had, past reason hated, as a swallowed bait, on purpose laid to make the taker mad. Mad in pursuit and in possession so, had, having, and in quest to have, extreme. A bliss in proof, and proved a very woe, before a joy proposed, behind a dream. All this the world well knows, yet none knows well, to shun the heaven that leads men to this hell. And one of the prevailing predominant notes is that uh, the views expressed here are definitely written from a male perspective. So this one was a, really, uh, a lot of fun to work on. I really learned a lot about it and really enjoyed it. I would love to hear what you think. What did you like? What did you not? What did you understand? What did you not? And then feel free to take sonnet number 129 and run with it. Make it yours. Have a blast. Hope you're doing uh, really well. And until next time, remember sonnetchallenge.blogspot.com. All the sonnets. All right. That's it.